This is Scott from KIG. It's December 3rd, 2014. And this is going to be the first of several uh, runoff videos for this 25 ton 460 volt um, thermal care acu chiller. And I'm just going to go over a few things right now before I actually turn the system on. <coughs> this unit uh, is model number LQ2B as in Bob 2504, serial number 024520103. One, one. Uh, this is the inside of our, our cabinet here. We have a freeze stat and we have the uh, uh, phase detection which is nice so you can't start this unit up in the wrong phase. It'll go into alarm. Um, here are our contactors. We actually got two brand new contactors. We have one for the 10 horsepower compressor and one for the 15 horsepower compressor. Um, then we have our pump and our fan and our fan. And then we have our uh, relays down there, control transformer here. And here's the front of the control panel right now. We'll walk over this side. Uh, we did put, uh, the coils are in fine shape on this unit and it will be shipping with a full charge. Uh, we did put these coil covers uh, um, on the unit. Um, we just put them on, they need to stretch out a little bit and they, and they will. Uh, let's open up our door here. This unit has an oversized, um, oh, let's talk this side first, I'm sorry. Uh, we have our 10 horsepower train scroll compressor and our 15 horsepower train scroll compressor. Right here is our Y strainer. We went ahead and we did order a new, uh, a new mesh for the unit. This also has an electronic flow switch built right in in the interior of the chiller, which is nice. Over here we have our tank, which I believe is about, about 70 gallons or so. Uh, here we have the from process connection. Uh, this here is a positive uh, solenoid shut off. Uh, in the event that flow stops, this will actually shut off the flow so there's not feedback back into the system or backflow. Similarly here, this is actually a check valve. So this is our piping here for testing, but this and, and this will actually ship with the unit. Uh, for our setup, for our test, we come back to our own in-shop heat exchanger here. And we actually use this temperature controller here uh, to bring it up to temperature to give some type of, uh, some type of load. It's not going to be a full 25 ton load, but we, it's, uh, uh, it is enough for us to, to run, run the unit extensively, which we have done. Again, here's our tank. There's our fluid level indicator for a tank. And this is the oversized uh, 10 horsepower pump here. And we've been running this for actually a few weeks now for no other reason than we didn't have anything else uh, slated in the shop to ship out, which has changed in the last couple days. With some other orders. So, excuse me, just opening this door here. Uh, this is our uh, raised plate heat exchanger here. And hopefully you can see this. Oh, there's an inline dryer. And this does ship fully charged. And if you can see, that's our sight glass. And you should be able to just see that that is uh, green, indicating dry, which is good. And then this unit does have the uh, hot gas bypass option, which is that solenoid right there. So when we're running down to a lower load, which this is the perfect example, on our test, you're going to hear the valve engage. Um, in fact, it'll run hot gas bypass so well, which is basically creating a false refrigeration or heat load on the system, um, that it'll actually stay at the set point uh, temperature range for, for quite some time. We'll come back with video number two in a second as we start the uh, system up and see it chill.